Silver Sea Expeditions is the only luxury expedition operator that operates in the Galapagos and our Silver Galapagos operates two itineraries, seven days each, starting each Saturday from Baltra and uh, these two itineraries can be combined into a 14-day um, Grand Galapagos expedition. The Galapagos, just like Charles Darwin discovered them, are a fantastic place, you know, it's truly a unique environment where every single day that we go ashore, every single moment that we spend ashore on these islands is an example of evolution in practice. You know, every single one of the animals that we get so close to on these islands have been there for thousands and thousands of years and have evolved to survive in this very harsh environment. It is incredible to be able to go ashore and walk amongst land iguanas that is completely unafraid of humans. To be able to walk on beaches where you have got sea lions basking in the sun and then a few minutes later go in the water and snorkel with them. So playful and they come straight up to you. Interesting enough, the Galapagos, when you go out snorkeling there, the water is quite cold. Although we're on the equator, it's an amazing place. You know, the water around these islands are influenced by various currents. You have got the cold and very nutrient-rich um, Humboldt current that flows from south to north along the South American west coast. You also have the very deep and very cold Cromwell current that comes out of the Pacific. And these two very cold currents affects the Galapagos. And that is why it is so nutrient-rich, because the cold currents bring the nutrients to these islands, and that's why these animals thrive there. That's why on our western itinerary you get to places where you can snorkel not with one, not with two, but literally hundreds and hundreds of marine turtles. Something that you cannot imagine. You know, you're in waters on the equator that is no more than 15, 16 degrees Celsius. You have to wear a wetsuit, otherwise you will very, very quickly get very, very cold. And on Silver Galapagos, we not only provide snorkel equipment for our guests, but we also provide wetsuits for every single guest um, on board the ship. The experience to jump in the water and put your head under the water and see sea lions, turtles, or even marine iguanas feeding is just something that will be with you for the rest of your life. Of course, the scenery is incredible. You know, these islands are 100% volcanic and to be able to go ashore and walk on islands that are some of the youngest islands on our planet, to walk on the lava flows are just incredible. And once again, every single step of the way, thinking about what Charles Darwin discovered. What we are seeing on the Galapagos Islands is what Charles Darwin saw when he visited hundreds of years ago. And that is really special. I have to say that the Galapagos National Park has done an incredible job at protecting the environment and managing the way that tourism is conducted there. And of course, with our expedition staff, we explore the islands and we also encourage the preservation of the Galapagos because these islands do need to be preserved and they do need to stay in their pristine way for many generations to come. Our itineraries are quite intense. Every single day we visit at least two different destinations. The distances between the islands are not that big. You know, on an average seven-day Galapagos expedition, we will cover no more than maybe 200, maybe 250 nautical miles. On our international ships, the Silver Discoverer or Silver Explorer, we will easily cover 200 miles a night traveling between destinations. So it really is very easy for us to go out early in the morning, go on hikes, go on a zodiac tour and be very active in the morning, come back when it heats up and then go for a snorkel safari. We also have kayaks on board the Silver Galapagos um, and we can go on kayak safaris with our guests always guided by an Ecuadorian guide, um, a certified Galapagos National Park guide. Each and every one of them certified by the National Park. So therefore, when we do go out with our guides, you have no more than 12 guests per guide um, when we go. Now, this, this actually brings up something interesting because quite often people think that in the Galapagos, smaller is better. In the Galapagos, it's actually a case of bigger is better. And we have one of the bigger ships in the Galapagos and therefore, of course, we are going to say bigger is better. But the reality is that when you do travel on a small ship with 16 guests in the Galapagos, you are going to have, by park rules, one guide. Of course, one guide for every 16 guests. 
Smaller boats can only accommodate one guide. If it's 32 guests, two guides. Silver Galapagos carries 11 guides. Therefore, you get a great mix. You don't have the same guide with you every single time. You get to learn from all 11 of our expedition staff. But also because we have such a large staff complement on the Silver Galapagos, we can offer snorkel safaris at the same time as our kayak safaris, at the same time as our landings. But the most important thing about being on a bigger ship in the Galapagos is to do with the permitting. In the Galapagos, the authorities allow only 100 people ashore at one time at a specific landing. That means that if you're on a smaller 16 passenger ship, it is quite possible that when you get to a landing site, you might share that landing site with different ships or different boats. Whereas when you're on the Silver Galapagos or one of the bigger ships that has permits for 100 people, you are there on your own. And only us and only our guys. It is an incredible experience and it is one of those destinations that every single person should visit at least once in their life.